Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Myshishiv M55. The Marsh Myshishiv M55 NATO, NATO reporting name Mystic B is a high altitude geophysical research aircraft developed by OKB, Myshishiv in Soviet Union. Similar in the mission to the Lockheed ER2, both the twin boom fuselage and tail surface design. It's a twin uh, engine development of the M17 Stratosfera with a higher maximum takeoff weight. So yeah, pretty interesting aircraft here. Um, kind of a reconnaissance type of um, type of aircraft. So it's got the long wings, kind of designed for getting up to a high altitude and uh, basically using its large wings to um, glide and conserve fuel. Uh, very interesting design too. We don't see too many uh, tw uh, twin boom fuselage type aircraft, and uh, this one here being a pretty large aircraft uh, with the twin boom. Um, Kind of the uh, twin boom fuselage, definitely pretty interesting. Uh, overall, pretty beautiful aircraft, and the version we have in front of us is kind of the more upgraded modern warfare ones. So that's why we're hence why we're kind of calling it um, categorizing it as modern warfare. Technically, it's very late Cold War, um, but yeah, it's kind of equipped with uh, the main kind of takeaways uh, to distinguish the newer versions from the older ones is the addition of uh, jet engines to the wings, and then also the kind of bulge on top of the. Uh, fuselage which probably houses some sort of uh, equipment or something like that that they added onto the aircraft uh, but overall pretty cool build uh, will be a fun uh, aircraft to add to your uh, you know arsenal and all that stuff and probably a very lesser known aircraft as it's not a super popular or well-known aircraft uh, before we go and take a look at the uh, aircraft itself, I want to go and give special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description. It's where you can go and play the small Ted channel every month, and in doing so, earn a vehicle request to your choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel and um, all the builds I do and all that stuff. And uh, you earn a cool vehicle request every month you are a patron. So definitely feel free to check it out. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. With that, let's go ahead and kind of move into taking a look here at the uh, build itself and see exactly what we're going to be building. So for this aircraft, we have both the landed and in-flight versions. Now, technically, the landed version would sit at a slight angle, but just due to the limitations of Minecraft, and the angle was slight enough where I think that it could just sit level and really not have anything taken away from it. So I just want to mention that out there um, for those of you wondering. Um, but yeah, we have basically the in-flight model here, so pretty, uh, you know, simple type of aircraft. It's got a very thin kind of forward fuselage. Kind of gets to the thicker portion where the engines are, the two jet engines are located. And then we have the, obviously the twin booms here. Um, as I mentioned, there are, looks to be extra jet engines mounted onto the wings. Uh, not 100% sure the reasoning for that, but uh, the newer versions seem to at least have it. So again, not 100% sure, I guess maybe to provide a little bit more um, thrust and maybe speed for the aircraft, who knows. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the in-flight uh, version. Then obviously we have the landed version for it as well. So the landing gear here, um, you know, deployed, and you can have this sit in on a tarmac or airbase or something like that. So pretty interesting aircraft overall. I think it came out pretty good, and again, it's gonna make an awesome uh, addition to any of your worlds and a very lesser kind of known aircraft as well. So will be a fun one to kind of build and most people probably don't even know what this aircraft actually is so with that let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer all right guys so going ahead and moving into our first layer here we'll be going ahead and starting with layer two now if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials the way i like to structure these tutorials I like to do half on camera half off what this means is rebuilding the entire center line of the aircraft and then the entire right side and then it'll be up to you guys to take what we did over on the right side and copy it over to the left side this aircraft's completely symmetrical so whatever we do to one side will be done to the other um, so all you gotta do is just basically copy the one side over the other side and you're pretty much good to go for each layer. Um, it just kind of cuts down the recording time for the tutorial, um, and also it just kind of saves me from covering the same thing over and over again as both sides are exactly the same. Um, with that covered, uh, if you do want to build the landed version, we will be going ahead and adding the landing gear on as a modification at the end of the video. So you will be building the in-flight version to begin with, and then we'll be adding the landing gear on at the end. To make sure that we build that correctly, we want to make sure that we start layer 2 here. Um, two blocks total off the ground. As you can see, we have a ground level here, um, all the grass, and then we have two blocks full of space before this layer right here, layer two starts. Very important. Obviously, if it's off a block or anything like that, it will be, you know, kind of messed up. So just make sure you're paying close attention 
to that and have it positioned correctly. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing we want to do is we want to place down a stone top slab. We're going to go, ahead and go back from that stone top slab with a long row of stone full blocks. This row in total is going to be 25 blocks in length back. And we're going to then place down a total of four stone top slabs back and then an iron trap door. And that right there is going to be your center line there for the aircraft. After that's done, moving on to the sides here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull, come off the stone block in the front here. Followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, and set walls back. After we have that done, we're going to take our stone blocks, and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, stone blocks back. We're going to go then switch to stone stairs, and we're going to place down a row of 1 and 2 upside down stairs, so the face of the stairs is facing toward our center line, and the backs of the stairs are facing toward the outside there. And after we have that done there, we want to go and then take our iron trap doors and we're going to place down a row of one and two iron trap doors going back from that stair. After that's done for our next row here, we want to go and grab ourselves some stone, uh, a stone top slab. We're going to place down a stone top slab that's going to be coming off this fourth from last and a site wall. So coming back from this wall, one, two, three, four. Fourth one, we're going to place down a stone top slab to the side. We then want to place down an upside down stone stair going back from it. We're going to go then to your stone full blocks and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, stone full blocks back. And we're going to then place down a row of 1, 2, and 3 stone top slabs back, followed by an iron trap door. I'm going to double check the count here on my stone full blocks, but in total it should be 11. So, uh, actually, so back from the stone stair, we have 11 stone blocks. Um, so, again, 11 here. Then fall by three stone top slabs and our iron trap door should, should be aligned there with the back there like that. After that's all done, we're going to then go to the side of this stone top slab, place down our iron trap door. And we're going to then place down a stone top slab coming off the side of the stone stair. We then want to take our stone upside down stairs and we're going to place down a row of stone upside down stairs. This is going to be a total of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go then take our stone top slabs and go back one, two, three, four, stone top slabs back and then one and two iron trap doors and that right there is going to basically complete your kind of basically main fuselage section of the aircraft from this point here however we are going to be building out to the side so that we can build our little booster engines on the side of the aircraft for this uh, we want to count out to the side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen of these uh, yellow concrete blocks or just really any block really, but we're going to be counting 14 blocks out to the side. So we're going to go ahead and go to the side here, go to our second stair, and count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to go ahead and double check the counts here, make sure that everything is correct, because if not, then stuff will get a little wonky when we go to put the wings on. So just make sure you double check your counts, and again we have 14 blocks built out to the side here. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves our iron trap doors. We're going to place our iron trap door here, come out this block. A second iron trap door back, and then we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three of smooth quartz top slabs. We then want to place down a row of one and two of iron trap doors, and that right there is going to basically complete the base there for your booster engine there on the side. You can delete any blocks that you use to build out to the sides. And once we have that all done there, that's going to basically wrap up everything that we have here for layer two to get started with. And uh, with that, we're going to be going ahead and moving down to layer one, which will add a little details here to the bottom of the fuselage and then uh, continue on with the build from there. So with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number one. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into layer one. Layer one, very simple. We just have a few things to add to the bottom of the fuselage here. To begin with, we're going to be going ahead and going to the bottom here. We want to count back on our stone blocks. We have our first block here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're going to go and go to your ninth one, which is right here. And we're going to place down a stone slab that comes down from it. We then want to go and angle to the sides and back and go to the bottom of these and set walls here and place down an iron bar that goes down from those two walls like so. Once we have that all complete, we then want to go and go to our engines here. We're going to go from this stone upside down stair. We're going to skip the stone block behind it. And then we want to place down a row of one, two, three, and four iron trap doors in that section there. Then you go ahead and do the same thing over here. So one, two, three, and four iron trap doors like that across. And as you can see, they start right here where the uh, last day in the site wall is. So just kind of using that as a base of reference as well. Uh, but yeah, that's it for layer one. Pretty simple little additions. And with that, we'll go ahead and move on to our next layer here. Layer number three. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving into our next layer here, we have layer three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, what we want to do to begin with is we're going to go ahead and go into this stone top seven in the front here. We're going to place down a smooth quartz block on top of it. We then want to place down an end rod coming off that smooth quartz 
uh, block and then come off this end rod we'll be placing down a chain like so after that's done go ahead and go back from the smooth quartz block we're gonna place down an additional two blocks so you have a row of three we're gonna go then take our blue concrete and we're gonna place down a row of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen blue concrete blocks back go ahead and uh go into the rear here in our center line we're gonna go ahead and place down a stone block on top of this iron trap door here we're gonna go then go one and two stone blocks forward so you have a row of three and then we're gonna place down one inside wall there on the end hanging out past that iron trap door and that right there is going to complete your center line from this we're going to go ahead and now work our way out to the side so starting off on the front here we're going to place down a skeleton skull to the side of this block and then we're going to place down one and two uh die right walls back we're going to go ahead and place down a smooth quartz top slam followed by a row of one and two prismarine walls a polished data side block and on the side of this polished data side block we're going to place down a stone button we then want to place down a near two prismarine walls polished data side block stone button on the side of the block prismarine wall polished data side block yeah stone button on the side of the block and then we're just going to place down one two and three prismarine walls back followed by a row of one and two of black concrete across like so after we get to this point here we're going to go and grab a warped stair and blue concrete again we're going to place another warped stair to the side there on top of that iron trap door and then take our blue concrete we're going to go, and go back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh, 12 and 13 and I'm gonna go and double check our count here as we did have a little bit of lag there on the server so I'm gonna go and just double check to see and we have 13 blocks of blue concrete going back from that stair there anyways uh, once we get to this point here we're gonna go and then take our and or sorry prismarine walls we're gonna place down one and two prismarine walls back here along the side along the side of those two prismarine walls on the inside we're gonna place down two black concrete blocks with a stone button coming off this concrete block like so we then want to grab an iron trap door, we're going to place it coming off this button like so, and then using a debug stick, we can go ahead and change the uh, trap door and open it so that it's true, so it uh, kind of stays like that. If you're on console versions or any version that for, for some reason doesn't have a debug stick, you can go and use Birchwood trap doors instead, or um, Birchwood trap doors are probably going to be the best for uh, this situation, but yeah, you can use a Birchwood trap door in that situation instead. Anyways, once we have that done, we're going to then place a stone block on top of this iron trap door. And an air stone block on top of this iron trap door there, so we don't have any gaps into the fuselage. We then want to take our anisite walls, we're going to place down one and two, going back. And a skeleton skull come off the side here of this anisite wall there in the very center. Once we have that all done, we want to go ahead and also grab ourselves birchwood buttons. And we're we'll going to be taking birchwood buttons and we're going to run it all the way along the side here of these blue concrete blocks. So it's going to go all the way back along the side there, and also on the side of the warp stair here in the front as well. Now once we get to this point here, we're going to go and grab some blocks that we can easily tell apart from the aircraft as we do have some counting out to the sides here that we need to do. First thing is to go ahead and set this row of iron trap doors. For this, we're going to go ahead and go to this trap door here, and we want to go ahead and count out to the side one, two, three blocks. So again from this trap door right here, one, two, and three blocks to the side. We then want to place down an iron trap door. Notice that it's on the top portion, uh, the top side of the block and not on the bottom like that. So we have this... Uh, iron trap door here we're going to go forward uh, one two three four five six seven eight and yep just eight forward so you have a total of nine like that across after that's done we want to go and then go to our little booster engines here to the side we need some black concrete some stone buttons some iron trap doors yeah some direct walls and also some smooth quartz blocks for this we want to go and go to our middle three uh, quartz top slabs here. You're going to place down three quartz full blocks on top of those slabs and then a black concrete block on both ends. Stone button coming off both ends of those blocks and then a iron trap door that is going to be coming off the sides here of this stone button. After that we then want to go and just close the trap doors. So using the same technique we used on the engines on the back there. Again you can use a birchwood trap door in its place if you do not have access to a debug stick. Anyways, once we get to this point here, we want to go and then take our direct walls. We're just going to place down a row of five here along the side. Same thing over here, row of five. And that right there is going to complete your little booster engine there to the side. After we get to this point, we do actually have a little bit of the wing that starts to kind of come into play here. So we're going to need some iron trap doors, some warped trap doors, some warp slabs, and some smooth quartz um, slabs as well. And we're going to go and basically start working on the wing here. Now, to go ahead and get started with this wing, what we're going to do is we're going to need to count out to the side here. So, if we're going to go off this iron trap door from our booster engine, we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five blocks to the side there. So, same thing over here. 
count out to the side, one, two, three, four, five. Now once we get to this point, we want to go and then place down a row of six of iron trap doors, followed by a row of three of smooth quartz slabs, and then a row of four warp stairs. So again, we have a row of six of iron trap doors, so one, two, three, four, five, six. A row of three of smooth quartz top slabs, and then a row of four warp top slabs. After we have that done, we're going to then go to our row in the front. We're going to go to our third iron trap door, so this one right here to the side. And we want to go and then place down a row of four of warp trap doors. So one, two, three, four. And after that, we want to go and then place down a row of two of warped top slabs. So just like that for the leading edge of the wing. And then uh, toward the rear section here, we're going to place down a iron trap door coming off this one. And then we're going to go one toward the aircraft. So you have a row of two here. And we want to go and then place down an additional one, two, three, and four going out toward the side there. And then take our smooth quartz top slabs, we're just going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, smooth quartz top slabs out to the side like so. So basically this is what it should look like from up above here, uh, taking a look at this layer. So everything should look something like this here. Uh, one thing to cover also is that these walls are visible from the outside, so you may want to go and just place some stone blocks above them like that just to kind of close it off a little bit better so you don't have any gaps uh, looking into your um, kind of hollow, or your hollow fuselage here. Um, so it's kind of a thing you can do if you uh, really are kind of picky about that. Uh, but the overall look should look something like this here. And uh, you can see we have our wings set up, our boosters getting built, and our rear engines as well. We can go ahead and also delete any of these uh, blocks that we use to count to the sides um, as they are going to be no longer needed for the build. Uh, but yeah, that should pretty much do it for uh, layer number three here. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number four. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 4. Layer 4 here, we're going to have a lot more going on, uh, basically in terms of uh, basically building the wings for the most part, and a few things here and there, so uh, do pay close attention. This is going to be kind of a lengthy layer, and probably our longest layer for the tutorial. Anyways, for us to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take a redstone repeater, we're going to place it down on top of this smooth quartz block here in the front, and we're going to go and separate the notches uh, apart from each other like so. From this point here, we're going to then place down a warped stair, or sorry, a warped slab back from the repeater, followed by a warped stair, a blue concrete block, three smooth quartz blocks, and then we want to go and place down three black concrete blocks. Now this right here is going to be your cockpit space. If you do want to go ahead and actually make a cockpit for the aircraft, you can go and leave this row three hollow. Uh, but since we are not going to be building a cockpit in this tutorial, I'm just going to go and fill this in with a row of three of black concrete. We then want to take our smooth quartz, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five smooth quartz blocks back down the center. And that right there is going to complete our front center line. Going ahead and moving to the rear here, we want to go ahead and go to the top of this stone block here. We're going to place down an iron trap door, followed by two smooth quartz slabs forward, and then a row of one, two, three, and four smooth quartz full blocks going toward the front of the uh, aircraft. From that point, that's going to complete our center line, and we're going to go and start working our way out to the sides here. To begin with, we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and placing down a skeleton skull that's going to be on top of this direct wall next to this warped stair. We then want to place down a prismarine wall next to this blue. Uh, concrete block and then we're going to place down a row of one two and three direct walls followed by a polished black stone wall a direct wall then a row of one two three four polished black stone walls and then again two direct walls back like that followed by a black concrete block and then uh, from this black concrete block we're going to build one and two more out to the sides there once we have uh, that all complete there we want to go and then place down a prismarine wall coming off this black concrete block like so we're going to also take an iron trap door, place it on the side of this wall here, and using our debug stick, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we open it so it looks like that there on the side. After we have that done, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a birchwood button on the side of this black concrete block. And then taking our smooth quartz blocks, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks down the side here, followed by two black concrete blocks, and then one and two smooth quartz blocks like that back along the side there. We're going to follow this up by placing down a skeleton skull here, and then a second skeleton skull on top of this wall here, which is going to be slanted at a slight angle, like so. After that's done, we want to go and then place down a smooth quartz block, come off this black concrete block here on the inside, followed by a second block back, three, four, and five, a smooth quartz slab, and then an iron trap door. Then for the center right here, we're going to place down a uh, skeleton skull on top of that wall, a slab back from it. And we then want to go and place down a row of one, two, three, and four. Smooth quartz full box filling that space in there. The rear there, the fuselage. After that is all complete uh, right there, we're going to go ahead and continue to work our way out to the sides here. 
So the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to go ahead and go to the side here. We're going to count back to our third, or sorry, our fourth smooth quartz block. We're going to place down a warped trapdoor from off the side of it. We then want to take our iron trapdoors and go back from it. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight iron trapdoors back. We're going to go ahead and repeat the same exact row one more time. So our warped trapdoor and then our iron trapdoors on the side here, like so. After we have that done, we're going to do the same thing up here. Warp stair, or sorry, warp trap door, and then an iron trap door after that. We then want to go and place down a row of two of white stained glass panes, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, Diorite walls back, and then we want to place down one, two, three, and four uh, white stained glass panes. After we have uh, that all complete there, uh, we want to go and then place down a spoof cords block on top of this iron trap door, and then one more block going forward from that. We're going to then place down a upside down uh, quartz stair coming off this uh, block, and then a quartz top slab like so, followed by a warped trap door like that for the front there. We're going to take our smooth quartz blocks, and we're going to go and continue back from this. So we have one more, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're going to basically kind of equal out with this uh, white stained glass pane there and from this point we're going to basically start counting out from the glass pane so from this block here we're going to go one two three four five six and seven quartz full blocks back after from that white stained glass pane there a smooth quartz top slab and then an iron trap door like that to go and complete uh, the center line there for our boom our uh, next uh, row out to the side here we're going to place down a warped trap door here iron trap door and then taking our white stained glass panes, we're going to do the same thing here for panes along the side here. And then our diamond walls back. And then our white stained glass panes. So exactly the same as what we do on the other side there. So it's going to be basically flipped uh, to both sides there. After we get to this point here, uh, we want to go and then grab ourselves our, uh, our, our warped uh, trap doors. We're going to place down a warped trap door here in the front. And we then want to go ahead and place down a row of two of iron trap doors back from it. We're going to go and then take our smooth quartz. Uh, top slabs and we're going to place down a row of five back so one two three four five back just like that after we have that done we're going to then uh, place down a warped trap door up here in the front two iron trap doors back and this time a row of four of iron trap doors uh, back or four row four of quartz top slabs we then want to place down another warped trap door here to the side this time we're going to place down an iron trap door and this right here is going to be a row of five of smooth quartz top slabs. After that, we're going to place down another warp trap door, another iron trap door, and then one, two, three, four uh, quartz, and actually, sorry, five quartz top slabs back from this one as well. Once we get to this point here, we're going to take our warp trap doors, we're going to place down a row of two warp trap doors like that, and we're going to place down another row of five of smooth quartz top slabs. So we have one, two, three, four, five, like that. Once uh, we have that all done there, uh, we want to go and then place down a warp trap door here in the front. We'll then go ahead and grab ourselves a warped slab. And we're going to place down a warped top slab coming off this trap door like that. From this, we're going to take our smooth quartz uh, top slabs. We're going to go ahead and go back with a row of four. So one, two, three, four. Next row here, uh, we're going to place down a warped top slab coming off this one here. Then our smooth quartz stop slabs, one, two, three, four back. And our next row here, we're going to do basically the exact same thing. So uh, warped top slab and four quartz stop slabs back from that. Now, uh, once we get to this section here, uh, we are going to be placing down another warped top slab. So same thing we've been doing here. Uh, however, we're going to place down three smooth quartz top slabs this time, but in this time we're going to follow this up by placing on a quartz slab here on the end, so it's going to kind of dip down by one on the end there. After you have that done for our uh, booster engine here, we're going to place down an iron trap door on top of that stone bun there. We're going to place on a quartz slab going back from it, followed by a quartz full block, and our quartz full block here, and this is going to fill in all across the top here all the way back, so we're going to place down, uh, we have two quartz full blocks, we have a third, fourth, fifth, and then on the back here, we're going to place down a quartz slab, just like that. After that's done, we're going to take our warped top slabs. We're going to place down a warped top slab that's going to be coming off this smooth quartz block right here. Second warped top slab back. And we then want to go and place down a row of two of quartz top slabs and then a quartz slab like that back. 
Uh, after that, we're going to place down another row or two of warped top slabs, so one, two, like that. And we're going to place down a quartz top slab here, and a quartz slab that kind of drops down from it, just like that. After we have that done, we want to go then grab our blue concrete. We're going to place down a blue concrete block here next to this quartz top slab. And then going back from the blue concrete, we're going to place down a quartz full block and then a quartz slab. Once uh, we have that all done, uh, we want to go then transition to a blue concrete block, which is then going to have a row of two of quartz slabs back from it. And also, uh, one thing I want to mention here also is we should have two quartz slabs coming off these. So actually, we're going to just extend one, two, three over. So it looks like this here on the edge of your wing so far. We then want to take our warped slabs. We're going to place down a warped slab like so. And from this warped slab, we're going to be building back a row of three quartz slabs. So one, two, three. So we just want to go ahead and place down one, two, three. We're going to place down another warped slab like this. This time with two quartz uh, tops or two quartz slabs, iron trap door. We're going to repeat the same row again. Warp slab, two smooth quartz slabs, iron trap door. This time we're going to place down a warped slab, a smooth quartz slab, and then two iron trap doors back from that. Once we get to this point here, uh, we want to go and then place down a row of two of warped slabs. And then going back from the row of two of warped slabs there, we're going to place down two iron trap doors. And we're going to then place down another warped slab uh, that's going to be actually coming off this one right here. So it's going to kind of come off like that and then right here in this space we're going to place down a warped trapdoor on top of this one. So a warped trapdoor on top of this one and we're going to just go back two iron trapdoors from it. So one, two. Next row to the side here we're going to place down a uh, another warped trapdoor here. Again a row two of iron trapdoors. We're going to then place down another warped trapdoor on top of this one here. Iron trapdoor behind it. Warp trapdoor. Iron trapdoor. And then a warp trapdoor here. We're going to go then take our blue carpet, we're going to place down one, and then one, two, three, four. And then taking our birch buttons, we're going to place down a row of butter, birch buttons all the way across this row like so, on those uh, smooth quartz top slabs. And once we have that all done there, that's going to pretty much complete our wings here, uh, well, at least for right now for this layer. And uh, with that, probably complete our longest layer here, which we have, um, which is layer number four. Um, as you can see, the aircraft really starting to come together, you're starting to see the shape of it and all that stuff starting to take place. One thing I want to mention also is that you guys can put the uh, three digit unit number on the side of the aircraft and this could be basically going to these three quartz uh, full blocks between this black concrete block with the birchwood button and this uh, warp trap door and you can place a three digit um, kind of number on the side of the aircraft. I went with just 909, doesn't represent really anything uh, but you can just go ahead and place it down on both sides here using white banners with a black, um, with a, uh, black number. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for that, and uh, there's plenty of tutorials to show you guys how to make those number banners, you can do whatever numbers you guys want, um, those basically just doing that for example. Anyways, that right there is going to complete the uh, layer number 4, and with that let's go ahead and move into layer number 5. Alright guys, moving into our next layer here, we have layer number 5. For layer 5 to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and begin by placing down an item frame on top of this blue concrete block. In that item frame, we're going to place down a iron bar, and if you are on uh, Java Edition of Minecraft, you're going to go ahead and place down a a warped button on top of this blue concrete block. If you're on console version, just know that you will not be able to place that button there as the item frame uh, is programmed to take up a full block of space, so you cannot put two uh, block space or put an item frame and a block in within the same block space. Um, so if you'll, if that's the case, just go ahead and place down the item frame with the iron bars if you're on console. Anyways, from that, we're going to place down a warped slab, a warped st stair, and then a blue concrete block followed by a row of one, two, and three black concrete blocks back. Again, if you're not building an interior, we can just go ahead and cover the back here with black concrete to kind of cover the rear there, um, like so. After we have that done, we're going to then place down a row of smooth quartz full blocks, and this right here is going to be a row of 15 full blocks back, followed by a smooth quartz slab, and then a white carpet there on the very back. After that's done, go ahead and going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this in, uh, direct wall here at a slight angle like so. And we're going to go ahead and place down a direct wall back from it, a daylight detector, followed by a smooth quartz slab. And we're going to then place down a smooth quartz stair right here next to that slab. After we have that done, we're going to take our direct walls. We're going to go back one, two, three, four. 
direct walls back. Take your smooth quartz blocks and place them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Smooth quartz blocks back. So in total here, you're going to have a row of, yep, eight. And we then want to go ahead and place down a row of two of quartz stairs like so. Followed by two diorite walls, a skeleton skull, and then a white carpet like that. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and then place down a smooth quartz top slab. Next to this block like so. A black concrete block here. And then take your smooth quartz blocks. We're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five smooth quartz blocks back. And then one, two, three smooth quartz slabs. Followed by one, two, three iron trap doors. After that, uh, we're going to go then place down a white carpet here on the back. Next row out to the side here, we're going to place down a quartz stair. Like so. Going back from the quartz stair, we're going to place down an additional one, two, three. So you have a row of four here of smooth quartz stairs. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three smooth quartz full blocks. Followed by one, two, three quartz slabs back. And then one, two uh, iron trap doors and then two white carpets. Next row here, we're going to go ahead and grab some... Uh, Warp stairs and blue concrete. We're gonna place down a warp stair on top of this trap door here, followed by a blue concrete block behind it. And after that, we want to go and then place down a. So before we go ahead and move on, one quick adjustment I want to make here is we actually want to go ahead and replace these two quartz slabs here with two smooth quartz stairs. So there's gonna be two stairs there instead. Um, and then once we get to this point here, we're gonna go and go to the side of this quartz full block here. We're gonna place down a warp stair and a blue concrete block directly behind that stair like so. We then want to place down a smooth quartz block and a smooth quartz stair. And after that, we're going to then place down a row of two of smooth quartz slabs back. So one, two, two iron trap doors and two white carpet back, just like that. Next row here, we're going to place down a warp stair, followed by a blue carpet or blue concrete block behind the stair, smooth quartz block. And we then want to go and place down two quartz slabs, followed by one, two, and three iron trap doors back and then two white carpets like that after that's done. After we have that done, uh, we want to go and then place down a warp stair, come off the side of this one, a blue concrete block going back from that stair, and we then want to go and take our smooth quartz slabs and we're going to place down a row of one and two. So after those two quartz slabs there, we're going to go and then place down two of these white stained glass panes going back. We're going to go then place down a row of one, two, three, four direct walls, and then again, row one, two, three, and four uh, white stained glass panes. After we have that done, our next row here, we're going to go and then place down a uh, blue, or sorry, a warped slab, and then a blue concrete block behind the slab. We're going to then place down two smooth quartz slabs, and then this time we're going to place down a smooth quartz stair. We then want to go and go back from the stair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen smooth quartz blocks back. We're going to go, and go to the side over here. We're going to place down three skeleton skulls here along the side of those last three blocks, and we want to go and then take our black concrete, place down a row of one, two, three, four. After we have that done, we're going to take birchwood buttons. We're going to place down a birchwood button on both sides of the first black concrete block. Skip the second, and then birchwood buttons on both sides of the third and fourth black concrete blocks there. We're going to go then place down one and two more smooth quartz uh, full blocks, smooth quartz slab, and then a iron trap door there on the end like that to go and finish it off. After that's done, moving out to the side here, we're going to place down a warped slab located in this spot right here. We then want to take our smooth quartz slabs, we're going to go ahead and place down a row two back, and then a iron trap door. We're going to then take our white stained glass panes, we're going to place down a row of two, row of four direct walls, and then a row of four of white stained glass panes, and then a row of one, two, and three skeleton skulls, like so. After we have that all done, uh, we want to go and then place down a warped slab here, followed by a row of one, two, and uh, it's going to be a row of, uh, yeah, one and two quartz slabs, and then a row of three of iron trap doors. Next row of the side here is going to be a warped slab. Uh, two smooth quartz slabs back from that, and then we're going to place down two iron trap doors. Next row here is going to be two warped slabs, and then going back from the two warped slabs, we're going to place down a row of three of iron trap doors, so one, two, three. Next row here is going to be another row of two of warped slabs, and again, three iron trap doors back. We then want to place down a warped slab like that up there in the front. And then we're going to place down a warped trapdoor back from it. And then one, two 
iron trapdoors. We're going to go then place down a row of two of warp trapdoors and then two iron trapdoors back. Next row here, we're going to place down a warped trapdoor here. Iron trapdoor. And then our next row here is going to be a, another warp trapdoor. Another iron trapdoor. And then we're going to place down one more warp trapdoor here to the side like so. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some birchwood buttons and also some blue carpets. We're going to go ahead and take our birchwood buttons and go ahead and go back from this iron trapdoor here. We're going to place down a row of three of birchwood buttons back. We then want to take our blue carpet and we're going to place down a blue carpet on top of this quartz full block and then uh, four blue carpets on top of those warped top slabs. And once we have that all complete there, that is going to basically complete what we have here for layer number five for the build. Here's what it looks like from above so far and with that our wings are pretty much complete. Uh, one thing also I want to go ahead and add to both wings here is this little extension uh, that comes off to the sides here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to this first warp slab after those two blue concrete blocks on the leading edge of our wing. We're going to place down that birch wood fence gate and then an end rod coming off it facing toward the front. And that's going to be on both sides of the aircraft like so. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer 5. And uh, with that the wings. Um, and with that we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number 6. Alright guys, go ahead and move it into our next layer. We go ahead and move it into layer number 6. For layer 6 to go ahead and get started with here, what we want to do to begin with is we're going to place down an air brick slab that's going to go on top of this black stained glass full block here. Then go back from the air brick slab, we're going to place down two more black stained glass blocks and then a black concrete block like that after that. We then want to take our blue concrete, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4 blue concrete blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and take our snow and we're going to place down a stack of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pieces of snow. We're going to go and do this twice so we have those two stacks there. We then want to place down a smooth quartz block, a black concrete block, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 smooth, con uh, smooth quartz full blocks, a smooth quartz slab, and then an iron trap door. And that right there is going to do it for our center line. Moving to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides of the cockpit. We're going to place down two black stained glass panes to the sides of those two black stained glass blocks. Followed by a row of one, two, three prismarine walls back like so. We then want to place down a skeleton skull here, and then a slight skeleton skull going back from this one at a slight angle like that. We're going to go ahead and place down two iron trapdoors here next to those snow blocks there, and then we're going to place down an air two that come off those two out to the side. We then want to take our direct walls, we're going to place down one, two, three, four five and six direct walls along those six full blocks down the center there like so after that's done we're going to then work our way out to our vertical stabilizers now for this we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a smooth quartz full block on top of this one right here and we want to go ahead and then place down a birchwood button on both sides of this block and we're going to go ahead and build one more block forward and do the same thing birchwood button on both sides we then want to place down an additional two blocks forward of smooth quartz and then we're going to go ahead and grab our snow again we're going to place down a stack of one two three four Followed by a stack of one, two, three, one, two, and then one, like that going forward um, of the aircraft. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number six for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number seven. All right, guys, moving into layer number seven. For layer seven to go ahead and get started with here, we'll be going ahead and going to the top here of the cockpit. We're going to go to the second black stained glass block. We're going to place down an air brick slab on top of it. And then going back from it, we're going to place down a warped slab, followed by two daylight detectors turn to the night mode and then a end, or, sorry, a iron bar after those daylight detectors. Going ahead and moving to the back here and place down a smooth quartz stair on top of the smooth quartz full block, followed by an iron bar behind the stair, a smooth quartz full block after the iron bar, a smooth quartz slab, and then an iron trap door like so. We then want to place down a skeleton skull on top of this direct wall here to both sides like so, followed by two direct walls back from the skeleton skull, and then we're going to place down a narrow skeleton skull on top of this direct wall like just like that. And that right there is going to basically do it for the top there. Moving to our vertical uh, stabilizers here, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three smooth course full blocks. We're going to place down a virtual button on both sides of the middle block. And we then want to place down a direct wall on top of this um, uh, block right up here in the front. And with that, with that all done, that's going to basically do it there for layer number seven. With that, we're going to probably move into our final layers now. So we have layers basically eight, nine, and ten. And, um, all that. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our final layers, 8 through 10. Alright guys, moving into layers 8 through 10. Now these layers here are pretty simple, and once we have those done, that will complete our in-flight version of the aircraft. Um, but basically, all we're going to be doing here is work on our vertical stabilizers and build our horizontal stabilizer, stabilizer that goes across in between them. To go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and take our smooth quartz, and we're going to place down a row of three of smooth quartz across the top here, like so. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here to both sides, like this. 
One thing I do recommend adding is going to be this uh, banner design. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to make a banner that has a white stripe across the top. We're going to take a blue banner, do a white stripe across the top, and a white or a red stripe across the bottom. And you'll get a banner that looks just like this. You're going to place down two of those banners right here along the side there to kind of make the Russian flag. And same thing over here on this side as well. Now on the inside here, we're not going to put the flag, but we are going to place down a birchwood button on this block right here. So that'll be same thing there on both sides like that. So just like that, kind of for the tail markings, which do house the Russian flag, is this is a Russian aircraft. We then want to place down a direct wall that goes up from those uh, smooth quartz blocks right there, and we're going to place down a row of two of smooth quartz blocks back like that. After we have that done, down the center here between these walls, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 warped uh, top slabs across, followed by a skeleton skull coming off those two walls like so. We then want to go and go to the sides of the walls with a row of five of the warped slabs. So, one, two, three, four, five, and out to the side over here as well, one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to then take our smooth quartz top slabs to the sides here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a skeleton skull come off the side of this warped slab, and same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a skeleton skull right here. And of course the space in the middle here, we're just going to fill this in with a row of 13 of quartz top slabs all the way across. Next row here, going to be another row of 6 out to the sides here. A row of 13 across the center space. So just like that, and then a row of 6 again out to the side here. Once we have that done, on top of the iron trap door and those quartz, uh, and this quartz top slab here, we'll place down two iron trap doors. Same thing over here. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves blue carpet, and on top of the warped slabs here, we're going to go and take blue carpet and just place down a row of blue carpet all the way across the top here. So just like this. After we have that done, we want to go and then take our birchwood buttons. We're going to go to the center space right here. So the center of our row of 13, which would be 7. So our 7th block right here, we're going to place down a birchwood button right there in the center. After we have that done, we're going to go and then take our birchwood buttons, and we're just going to place down a line of birchwood buttons that go all the way across the top here of our horizontal stabilizer. So just like that, and once you have that all done there, that's going to complete layers 7 and 8, and with that, that's going to comp complete my design for the in-flight version for the M55 uh, Mystic B. Um, with that, we're going to go ahead and now move into the landed version, so adding the landing gear onto the aircraft. If you guys are... Uh, just wanting the in-flight version, you're pretty much good to go for the tutorial and hopefully you guys do enjoy the build. But with that, let's go ahead and move into the landed version uh, to go ahead and complete our two versions here for the tutorial. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our landing gear. To begin with, we're going to be going ahead and working on the front wheel to begin. For this, we want to go ahead and go to this section here um, where we have this polished anti block. We're going to use this as basically the reference to kind of align everything. What we're going to do is we're going to go in line with that block. We're going to go down, down to this section here. We're going to delete this stone block here. And we then want to go and delete uh, the next three, or the next two stone blocks after that. We're going to go then place down a stone brick wall in the center here. We're going to go then skip a space and place down a stone brick top slab, an anvil on top of the top slab, and to both sides of that anvil, we want to go and place down a block of uh, concrete, or actually sorry, a block of coal. So just like this to both sides of the top slab and a light gray banner on the sides of those um, coal blocks like that. <clears throat> After that's done, we're going to go and then place down a skeleton skull, come off the anvil, and then an end rod that goes up like so into the aircraft. We then want to take our stone top slabs, and we're just going to place down a row of one, two, three. Stone top slabs on the side here, and same thing over here, one, two, and three. And that right there is going to basically do it for your front wheel, and from that we'll go ahead and move into our rear wheels. One quick thing uh, for the front wheels also, I don't think I really explained how to make this banner. Uh, basically what this is is a light gray banner. It has a black border that goes all the way around and a black stripe that goes for the center. Pretty simple design. I'm not going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how to make it because I think it's uh, easy enough and self-explanatory. But that's just the banner design I used for the rims here for the wheels. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and move, now move on to the rear wheels. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into uh, the rear wheels. So for the rear wheels here, we're going to go ahead and go down to this section here, our twin boom uh, arms. And we're going to go ahead and go to this first quartz full block. We're going to delete this block, and then we're going to go and delete uh, the additional uh, two blocks back from it. So the blocks and the iron trap doors on the bottom there. We're going to place down a stone brick wall coming down from this one right here, an air stone brick wall. 
We then uh, want to go ahead and skip two spaces, and we're going to place down a stone brick top slab here on the bottom. We're going to go ahead and place down an anvil on top of the stone brick top slab, and then an anvil like that on this stone brick wall, like that for the, the leg there. We then want to place down a skeleton skull coming off both sides of this anvil here, like that, and then we're going to place down an end rod that goes up and connects to that white stained glass pane. After we have that done, we want to go and then take our polished black stone stairs. We're going to place down this upside down stair here, stair on top, and then two stairs on the back there. Like that to go and uh, do our wheel. Same thing over here on this side as well. Once we have that done, we're going to take iron trap doors. We're going to place down one right here, followed by two. Uh, we do want to place them a certain way, so uh, we're going to be placing them like this here. So we have one, two, three, and same thing over here. One, two, so we're going to have one, two, three. Now we're going to then use a debug stick, and like we were doing before, uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we open them like this along the side here to create the doors here. Again, if you do not have access to a debug stick, you can use birchwood trapdoors for this application. And we can then go ahead and delete those blocks that we used to place the iron trapdoors. And once we have that done, that will complete basically the uh, in basically the leg gear for uh, our rear landing gear. I'm going to go ahead and grab some materials real quick, and I'll show you guys how to put some banners on these wheels to make them look a little bit more uh, wheel-like. Alright guys, and going ahead and making these banners. To make these super simple, we're going to need two light gray dye, uh, two, four black dye, and we're going to need two black banners, uh, which I did forget to grab one. So we have two black banners, four black dye, and two light gray dye. We're going to go ahead and go into our loom here. We're going to go and take our each one of our black banners, put them into our loom, and our light gray dye. We're going to select a line over here vertically on the left side for our first banner, and we're going to go do the same thing for the other banner, this time though on the right side. We're going to go and take each one of these banners, put them back into the loom, and we just want to go and select the line that goes across the top. And the one that goes across the top, bottom there of black um, die. And we're going to do the same thing right here. So line across the top and line across the bottom. And you get these two banners that look like this. These two banners here are going to go on the sides here of these polished black stone stairs. Just like that with the light gray facing toward each other like that to go and basically make those wheel designs. Kind of creates a little bit more of a wheel type look to this wheel or to the you know aircraft. And I think just looks a little bit better detail-wise. Completely up to you guys, though. Not a completely necessary option for the aircraft. But is there for you guys that do want it. Anyways, that right there is going to complete the landing gear. And with that, our landed version of the M55. Uh, and with that, that's going to complete our tutorial. So, hope you guys do enjoy this build. If you do end up using it, do I you guys give me proper credit for the build? This could be anything from a son of the build to my channel or this video. If this does appear in social media sites, as long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to whatever project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build. Have fun with it and all that fun stuff. Um, again, make sure to links to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 4 and I'll see you guys next time.